What if I told you that right now, deep inside Tesla's Gigafactory Texas, hundreds of mysterious compact car bodies are being assembled side by side, and no one is officially talking about what they are. But here's the catch. They're smaller, sleeker, and unmistakably different from anything Tesla has ever built. And according to several analysts and insiders, these could be the prototypes for Tesla's long-awaited affordable car, the Model 2, the car Elon. Musk once promised would change everything. But here's where it gets wild. New flyover footage from Joe Techmeyer, the man who's been tracking Gigafactory Texas from day one, shows a new section buzzing with activity. Bot Cybertrucks, not Model Ys, but dozens, maybe hundreds of smaller frames. The speed of assembly? Absolutely unheard of. Something big is happening in Austin, and the deeper you look, the clearer it becomes. This could be the moment Tesla quietly flipped the switch on the next generation of electric cars. Meanwhile, across the country in Fremont, similar compact test units have been spotted, rolling through Tesla's evaluation zones, the same zones that Cybertruck prototypes pass through before launch. And inside the test track building, crash tests are ongoing, not for Cybertrucks, but for something lighter, smaller, and cheaper. It's all pointing toward one thing. Tesla's next-generation platform, codenamed NGP-1, the foundation of the all-new Tesla Model 2. So what makes this car different? What are the three breakthrough features that could make the Model 2, the car that finally beats China, at its own EV game? And how close are we really to seeing Tesla's first truly affordable car hit the roads? Welcome to Torque Element, the channel that cuts through the noise and brings you real, data-driven Tesla insights not recycled rumors. If you love honest, detailed updates with real substance, hit subscribe and help us reach our goal of 2,000 subscribers. Your support helps us stay independent and keep diving into stories like this one. Now let's talk about the first feature, the platform that changes everything. Tesla calls it the Next G Platform One. And it's not just another update. It's a complete rethink of how a car is built from the ground up. Elon Musk once said that building the machine that builds the machine is even harder than making the car itself. And that's exactly what this platform achieves. According to internal documents leaked from Tesla's engineering division earlier this year, the Model 2's NGP-1 platform is designed to cut total production costs per vehicle by around 40% compared to the Model 3. But the real shocker? Assembly time is expected to drop by nearly half. How? It's all about what Tesla calls the unboxed process, a radical shift away from the traditional assembly line model. Instead of dragging a half-finished car from station to station, Tesla now builds the Model 2 in five massive sections, or modules each module, the front casting, the rear casting, the battery floor, the interior, and the upper body shell, is assembled separately by its own set of dedicated robotic clusters. Once those are done, the modules are brought together in one synchronized process that takes less than five minutes. Five minutes to go from five modules to one complete car. That's revolutionary. For comparison, a Model 3 on Tesla's older production line takes almost 20 minutes for the same stage. This isn't just faster, it's smarter. The new process allows one next G line to roll out a completed car roughly every 37 seconds. That means a single Gigafactory equipped with this system could build close to 2 million vehicles a year, double what a Model 3 line can handle today. And then there's the body itself. Remember how the Model 3 required over 170 individual metal pieces welded together? The Model 2 slashes that down to just two major aluminum castings, one at the front, one at the rear, each weighing around 110 kilograms. These castings are formed under an astonishing 9,500 tons of pressure, reducing body weight by 15% and increasing rigidity by 20%. That's lighter, stronger, and cheaper to make. Because of that, Tesla has been able to cut labor time in the body shop by nearly a third and reduce the number of welding robots from 300 to just about one. 120. Even logistics get a boost. The Model 2 supply chain has been simplified so much that the number of parts suppliers and component varieties are almost cut in half. Tesla's internal data suggests inbound shipping and handling costs could drop by 30%, percent 
put all that together, and the financial math becomes game-changing. Under this new platform, the capital cost to build one full production line drops from roughly $3.5 billion to about $2 billion. The operating cost per unit drops from around $31,000 to just $18,200. That means Tesla could pay back the cost of a new factory in under two years compared to 32 years on older systems. That's how Tesla can finally afford to price the Model 2. Somewhere between $17,800 and $19,000, a number that once sounded impossible. And when you think about that price point, it's not just a cheaper car. It's a strategic weapon. At that price, the Model 2 can compete directly against China's best-selling budget EVs like the BYD Seagull or the Wuling Mini EV, both of which rely on cheaper labor and smaller form factors. But Tesla's new efficiency means it can produce a globally competitive car in North America or Mexico without depending on China's supply chain at all. And that's where the story gets even more interesting because the second feature of the Model 2 could end. China's dominance in EV batteries once and for all, the aluminum ion battery, or as Tesla calls it internally, the Allian cell. If this battery performs the way the lab data suggests, it could be one of the biggest breakthroughs in EV history. The Allian cell targets an energy density of roughly 300 watt-hours per kilogram, compared to around 180 to 200 watt-hours per kilogram on Tesla's current LFP batteries. That's a 60% increase in energy density. In plain English, the same. 300-mile range with a battery that's 30 to 35% smaller and lighter. That could shave nearly one. 180 kilograms off the car's total weight, improving both acceleration and efficiency. But what really blows people's minds is the charging speed. Thanks to the high mobility of trivalent aluminum ions and the use of graphene, composite anodes with conductivity exceeding 1 million Siemens per meter, the prototype model. Two battery can reportedly charge from 0 to 80% in under eight minutes when connected to a 350 kilowatt DC fast charger. Eight minutes. To put that in perspective, a Model 3's LFP battery takes around 25 minutes for the same charge. Early testing also shows almost no degradation, even under extremely fast charging, up to 10 times the standard charge rate. Real world terms, that means reclaiming around 150 miles of range in about five minutes. That's faster than a typical gas station stop. Durability is equally jaw-dropping. Lab cycle testing has shown 12,000 full charge discharge cycles before significant capacity loss. That's equivalent to over 1.8 million kilometers of real-world driving. Even after 10,000 cycles, the cell still retains 91% capacity. And thermal stability? Unbelievable. The Allian cells can safely operate from minus 30 degrees Celsius to plus 90 degrees Celsius, far wider than the range of most lithium-ion batteries. That means no more complex liquid cooling systems, no heavy heat pumps, uh, no extra plumbing, saving between $400 and $600 per car, and improving reliability in extreme climates from Canadian winters to Texan summers. But the most critical part isn't the performance, it's independence. By switching to aluminum-ion chemistry, Tesla can finally free itself from China's grip on the global battery supply chain. Right now, China refines almost 70% of the world's lithium, over 60% of nickel sulfate, and more than 80% of graphite anodes. Aluminum, on the other hand, is the most abundant metal in the Earth's crust, and North America already refines over 4.5 million metric tons per year. That means Tesla can build these batteries entirely within North. America, without relying on foreign refineries or restricted supply lines. Production plans are already in motion. The first pilot aluminum ion battery line is expected to go live at Gigafactory, Texas by the third quarter of 2026, with an initial capacity of 15 gigawatt hours per year, enough for roughly 400,000 Model 2s. And by 2028, Tesla expects to ramp that up to 75 gigawatt hours annually. That's BYD-level output, right here in the United States. 
But there's one more reason people are calling this Tesla's biggest leap yet. And it's not about the body or the battery. It's about the brain. For the first time ever, the Model 2 will come equipped with Tesla's brand new HW5 Autopilot computer, a chip so powerful it pushes 500 trillion operations per second. That's double what the HW4 in the current Model S and X can handle, all while using only 60% of the energy. And unlike many Chinese automakers who rely on NVIDIA or Mobileye for their autonomy chips, Tesla designed HW5 completely in-house, with the same engineering team behind the Dojo AI supercomputer. That's how deep Tesla's vertical integration runs, but hardware alone doesn't define the Model 2. It's what the car can do with it that's really changing the game. This isn't just another Tesla cabin with a big touchscreen. The Model 2 is built around a voice-first, vision-aware environment. It reacts to you instead of waiting for input. When you step inside, cameras and sensors recognize your face, adjust your seat, climate, and even your heads-up display automatically. No menus, no swiping, just seamless personalization. And after a few weeks of driving, the AI begins to predict your behavior. It learns your daily routes, charging patterns, preferred climate settings, and even recommends when and where to charge based on local energy prices and weather conditions. Tesla engineers describe it as a proactive co-pilot, trained on Dojo's neural networks, capable of anticipating your needs before you even think about them. So what do you think, Torque family? If Elon Musk actually delivers on these promises, a $17,000 Tesla with lightning-fast charging, AI that learns your habits, and a platform that builds cars twice as fast, would you buy it? Drop a comment below and type Model 2 if you trade your current. Cut for this revolutionary Tesla don't. Forget to subscribe and turn on that bell. Let's get torque element to two. Thousand subscribers and keep pushing independent EV coverage forward. Because, one thing's for sure, the world's next big automotive. Revolution isn't coming from Germany, Japan, or even China. It's taking shape right now, inside the humming walls of Gigafactory, Texas. And when it finally rolls out, the world won't just be watching, it'll be recharging.